So you might be in a position where for some reason you are getting this could not connect little pop-up on Snapchat. Either it shows something like this or it says no connections or something like that. Now, the main reason why this may be happening for the most part and is the most common reason why it's not happening is because you don't have any internet connection on your device. So what does this mean? Well, essentially your device may not be connected to Wi-Fi, it may not have a cell signal of any sort, and those are the main reasons why things like this happen. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is making your way over to settings, and all you want to do here is go into Wi-Fi, and you just want to make sure you're connected to an internet connection at all. So if you are connected to an internet connection, make sure you're connected to the 5G one as well. If you're connected to the 2G one, that's going to be slower. So 5G is going to be better. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you may want to just make sure you have cell signal. So you can click on cellular. You should be able to see your cell service. If you don't have cell service and if you don't have Wi-Fi, that is going to be the main reason why you're getting that error. So you're going to have to go through and pretty much just connect to an internet connection that is, you know, well and, you know, it's good. And that is all you're going to have to do there. Now, if you are connected and you're still getting that error, the next thing you want to do is make your way over to your app store just like this. And you want to go and click on search. Now, when you click on search, you're going to get into this little prompt. You want to go and click up here, and all you want to do is just search up Snapchat. So go and search up Snapchat just like this, and all you want to do here is go and click on Snapchat, and you'll be able to see this open button. All you want to do is go ahead and click update if you have a little update button there, and that may end up fixing the situation as well. Now, if none of these things are working, those are the two main ways to go and fix this problem. If none of those things worked, and you know you're typing in the right username and password, the only other thing you can do for the most part is just wait this problem out. Now, what I mean by that is Snapchat, just like every other application, has servers in the background. So TikTok can be down, Instagram can be down, you probably heard of that, and Snapchat can be down as well. So a great way to detect this is by going to websites like downdetector.com or is it down.com, or you can even make your way over to Twitter. And if a lot of people are complaining about it, then that's basically it. You can see right here, both Instagram and Facebook on this website are both down. And you can tell that because there's massive amounts of people complaining about it. So that's why these websites are great. And that's really all you're going to have to do in that situation. So that covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.